Hi, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you like our videos, please like and subscribe. We uh, want to apologize for being a little tardy this week. We both got colds at the exact same time. She had it first, and now I have it. Yeah, and so... We have been feeling like death. Yes, so... I actually still feel like death. I have a fever. It sucks. Yeah, we didn't have any voices last week, but um, it's getting better. We couldn't let a week go by without talking about the uh, moon bump. Yeah, I'm not from. I, I know. You, Stephanie's not as I'm not familiar, as familiar, with, familiar this. with the moon bump. Yeah, so this thing has been a consistent rumor for a very long time. Well, for me, it started out as like this funny thing where, oh my gosh, like she's she has a surrogate or she's allegedly faking her pregnancy. Well, what would be the reason why she would have a surrogate and why would she not tell people she has a surrogate? It's not, it's 2023. It's not like. Uh, it's not shunned upon. But I mean, this is who we're dealing with, though. We're not dealing with a normal person. No, what person. I mean is, are there laws in the royal family? Like, are there, are there, you know, I, the all shalom of, of, of uh, titles? I mean, is that how it works? I heard, surrogacy? I heard that if a baby is not born of the body, it cannot be in line of succession. And that's true? I think that's true. Okay. Don't quote it, quote me on it, okay. but it's what I've heard. Because I just I'm trying to figure out why she would care if she had a surrogate. She's in her forties. I mean, what's the big she, deal? Well, okay. So she, the, what what struck me as odd was Eugenie's wedding, mm -hmm. where she, the minute she got out of that car, mm -hmm. and she had a coat on. And she had one button, uh -huh. and then the rest were unbuttoned. Uh -huh. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. She's going to try to look like she's pregnant and upstage the wedding. Uh, do you remember that morning, though? I did say, I, I was said, like, no, do you nuts. remember? I even tweeted about it. I said, Megan's pregnant. I was like, that's I did say nuts. That. Who would do that at a wedding? Uh -huh. Unless you are, like, out to here, there is no reason to wear a jacket like that and, and there was it, and right? there was no reason to wear a jacket like that because it was a warm day okay the uh, well, so it's church you have to wear a jacket in church really did kate wear a jacket well it was a it wasn't a jacket but it was a uh nope it was a coat jacket nope kate did not wear a jacket okay, uh, sophie did not wear a jacket nobody wore a jacket that day it was a very warm day no one wore a jacket and i know the jackets you're talking about um, but Megan decided to wear a jacket. Then they go on their tour to Australia. And while they're in the air on the way is when we hear the news that Megan's pregnant. Yeah. So then I'm thinking, okay, well, she's going to be a lot further along than we think she is because she had to wear that big bulky jacket and upstage Eugenie at her wedding. But then she gets off the plane and she's flat as a board. So the jacket was not necessary. There was no reason for that jacket just to be petty. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. In my opinion. Still have absolutely no uh, opinion on this because I still think she was pregnant herself. Okay. okay. So then she gets to Australia where the Zika virus is running rampant. Mm -hmm. And they tell people, like the WHO tells people not to even go in that part of the world because it's so dangerous. But they're not like everyone else though. Yeah, you're right because the, the, royals. the Zika virus could- um, no, I'm just saying there's- Just overlook them because no, she's just, royal. They must go, oh, there's Meghan Markle, no, she's royal, let's not get her. Well, I don't think the I'm royals- sure. I don't think the royals yeah. can go, oh, it's a, sense. a mosquito's gonna oh, take okay. down the royal family. You're right, you're right. Okay, so apparently, According to Stephanie, um, mosquitoes do not bother the royal family while they're in Australia. Don't quote me on that. I just did because you just said it. Then she starts holding her belly on the trip right away. Which I loved. I thought it was fine. I was excited. But I also thought it was very strange. Why? I found it I found it strange because it looked forced. And if you and if you look at pictures and video, you can see that she's not just gent gently putting her hand on her stomach. Yeah. She's like she's like cupping it. Do you guys notice that? Did you guys notice that too? She was cupping it a lot. It was weird. It was like cupping it. Like something was there and she had to hold it in place. That to me like 
I, I'm sorry, but it just didn't look natural. And I have every right to my opinion. Mm -hmm. This is all allegedly, but it did not look natural. Then she sort of um, fluctuated, her weight fluctu or her belly weight fluctuated during the entire trip. I think the whole trip was about what, a, a week? No, it was three not weeks. The, tri the trip was not three weeks. I think weeks. it was three weeks. Was it three weeks? Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll find out that later. She had Jessica Maloney with her the entire time as her stylist going with her. So so you're alleging that she had a, a fake bump. I'm, a, yes, I'm alleging. And you're alleging that she had a surrogate, surrogate. Yes. And the reason why she had the surrogate is because of the line of succession. Not because of, the, I think because it's just, in her mind, nar she's a narcissist and she wanted to be pregnant. The second thing that was weird for me was the traveling. Mm -hmm. Now I can understand well, she she can go she can go to Nice on holiday with Elton John and do a baby moon and 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 the Australia thing was fine, but when she went to New York heavily pregnant well now we're getting into chloe kardashian territory when chloe flew at eight and a half months to tokyo yeah. and we're gonna do a whole video on why allegedly chloe kardashian was never pregnant and she definitely used a surrogate both times definitely allegedly used a surrogate well she admitted to the surrogate that's what i'm just saying both time. time the first time and the second time yeah but allegedly she uh, used it the first time and I have receipts for that. I have a lot of receipts. Unfortunately, Megan covered tracks if she did it a little bit better than Khloe Kardashian. But um, the yeah. traveling, so she goes to New York and- For her shower. For her shower. Her how, how, how far along was she? I, I think she was about seven months. Oh, that's not, you could still travel in seven months. Of course you can. Yeah. Should have on a private jet. When you're over 35, and I look this up, it's considered a geriatric pregnancy. Absolutely. You yeah. are at a high risk pregnancy. Yes. If I got pregnant over 35 and this was like my first and it was my first pregnancy, I would be my <laughs> legs would be elevated the entire time. And I would just be like on bed rest okay. because if so, it, my first pregnancy yeah, and yeah. I'm over 35. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you would think Megan would be taking it easy. No, she's not going to take it easy. She's going to fly. Then they go to Morocco and she's supposedly heavily pregnant at this point. And she's bending over. She's lifting herself up. She's not just bending over. She's not doing that thing where she then needs like a crane to bring her back up. I did a ton of research about that. I've never been pregnant. Stephanie's never been pregnant. Allegedly. It, allegedly. Um, <laughs> I've asked women, is that what happens? Like, can you bend over? Can you squat? And does your stomach just disappear like that? And not, I have not been able to find one pregnant woman who has said yes. I even asked my mom. I said, mom, I know it was like a million years ago, but could you have done that? She goes, no, it's it, it, because your, your center of gravity is way off. So here she is bending over, do a squat position with her legs together and then getting back up mm -hmm. constantly. Must be all that yoga. And I even looked at um, pregnancy yoga videos and they're showing them how to hold on to a chair. They're showing them how to do it properly, how to spread your legs. I mean, this is not a normal thing. When Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis were born, mm -hmm. you get like a plaque outside Buckingham Palace right, saying right. the announcement, and it's signed all by the royal doctors. Yeah. Archie's was never signed. Yeah, and, and the, the whole Portland Hospital thing is weird and, and mm -hmm. them not coming out and, 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 you know, posing for the cameras is weird. I don't know. The whole thing was kind of strange. That part I give you is strange. Do I think that she had a fake prosthetic bump? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. How do you... She didn't have a fake prosthetic bump. How do you explain that? That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable. There was a day where Harry and her went out to, you know, visit some charities and she was wearing a red coat oh, and a purple, purple dress. dress. Yeah. And she sh 
walked out of the car and she had like a full on moon bump. Like it was there. No um, weight gain anywhere else on this woman's body, mm -hmm. <laughs> but the stomach. And then all of a sudden- See, Back then I was always like, oh, she's so beautiful. I know, I kept thinking she was like a modern marvel. She walked out of the place and the bump was between her knees. Yeah, that was weird. That was very but then, strange. But then back then, I, I was like, is that just like doctored or-, or But know, it wasn't like, doctored. Even during Oprah, mm -hmm. her bump kept getting weirder and stranger. Well, no- by, uh, by No by one has time, a baby bump up up here well, by in their that, chest cavity. Well, isn't it, and I read about this, isn't it that the baby should drop by then? Yes. Yeah, I, I there's those pictures Sorry, then- Sorry, our dog's the, making noises. Those Netflix stills that they showed where she was looking out the window and, and she had that little mini dress on. The baby, it was so high up, and I thought that the babies should be dropped by then, but it wasn't. And isn't it like different with girls and boys though? Aren't boys lower and girls higher? Yeah, so at one point she was carrying a, a girl and a boy. Yeah, and <laughs> one to one point. <laughs> but the red coat day was January 14th. Purple dress, red coat. Yeah. Jan January 10th, she was sitting with her legs crossed. That was another thing I've researched about pregnant women. They cannot cross their legs. That's hard. I looked. I even looked at Katherine Middleton when she was pregnant, who gained weight everywhere, including her legs and her ankles, poor woman. Every time Katherine sat, Katherine couldn't even do the Duchess slant. She was, she was, she was sitting down like a pregnant woman. Yeah. I just can't picture Megan being able to do all this. But the one thing that made me go, this is it, mm -hmm. this was, not a real, this was a surrogacy. She guest edited Vogue. Yeah, and she I was did. in that Chanel. Yeah. Um, I, and she was bending I, over. I didn't even think about conspiracy theories of, of a, a fake bum back then, but I remember reading the Vogue and watch and looking at the pictures and going, oh my God, how is she able to do that? Yeah. I did. I mean, I hate to say it, but I think what it did was it, it it could have been a really good opportunity for Megan to go, I am an older woman. I wanted to get pregnant right away. My doctor said it wouldn't happen that fast because it does take longer for older women to get pregnant. It sucks. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, but some people it does. Some people. You know, she got pregnant very quickly and I think it could have been a learning experience so you don't think where she, she could have said, model. look, she, no, I don't. She could have just said, look, you know, I, I want to do this modern. I want to do this through surrogacy. I want to do this, experience, experience this yeah. and, and have this happen. I want to have all the attention on me. Well, she, and see, but ultimately she, that why yeah. is why she wore okay. that bump because there's no way a bump can well, deflate I'll give you like that, that. But I need more, I need way more proof than this. Now, what more proof do you need? <laughs> I mean, Nancy, it's just so far-fetched. I'm just saying, what more proof? I, I, I just, I just, I don't know. One more proof I'm just do you gonna need? give her a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Can't, do we have to agree on everything? No, but every I want to know. I want to know. I don't know. I have to. Let me look at my copious notes. I don't know. It is a touchy subject. People will call you, um, you know, conspiracy theorists. If you can give me a reason or give me a good example of a woman pregnant that she was bending like that with her legs together. I will believe you, but is there anybody out there that can do that? Because every time somebody says, well, you guys, you guys, you're I can't even bend over like that. If I've had like pasta for lunch, I yeah. mean, that's not an easy position to get into. If you know what I mean? Jeez. I know it just seems really odd, but what are you going to do? We're both sick. Yeah. So we wanted to put that out there. Um, to give you guys a quick video on, um, that and we, how we look when we have colds. Our next video, we are going to take a deep dive into why we know Khloe Kardashian was not pregnant with her daughter, True. Absolutely not. A deep dive. Don't you worry. And then maybe we can compare it with Megan because right now she's on the fence. I'm not on the fence about it. I'm not on the fence with Khloe. She's not on, we both agree with that. So, um, all right, this is, sorry, it's such a short 
twin talk, but I can already tell I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I can tell my fever is spiking, so yes. I better get back to bed. Uh, don't forget to rescue a dog. I'm going to put up um, a great rescue site right now. It's called Layla's Heart and Rescue. They've been doing a lot um, for dogs in the Texas area, and I encourage you to give them a couple bucks, coffee money, anything. Every little bit helps, and it helps place a dog in foster or their forever home. And we really thank you guys a lot if you could just Thanks. adopt some, a dog. Adopt a dog. Have a good day. Stay, Stay healthy. healthy. Don't be like us. Don't be like us. <laughs> Bye guys.